Hey, a lot of scared tutorials awaiting us this Christmas. So today we'll be getting the Christmas tree. So grab your paper and your pencil and let's get started. So first we'll start by marking the shape shape of the tree. Right over starting from here. Make it bigger and bigger as it goes wider and wider. And when you're done, just going over and making it back from here with your cone. Just like this, and you get that right there. Now, when you're done there, we'll now divide this into four, starting right over here. We'll bisect each other. And just like that. And once you're done, that's how you go from here. Touch it back right over there. Just like so. Now, from here we will go and do the same right over here, starting from here. And do the same right over here. And when you're done, you just go over again and again and then you'd end up just like this as you go to the end. Right, like so. Yep. Once you're done, I'll just draw those ornaments and decorations in the tree. Starting right over here and then dividing it in this corner and drawing in the star right over here and drawing two more right over here and three more over here and another three more over here. Now once you're done, you'll get it like so. Now once you're done, you get it like so and then and just draw some more of these very small light circles starting right over here. Just have to raise those unnecessary, unnecessary ones. And you don't have to raise all of those un unnecessary ones either, because we're going to do it once again after we darken the our necessary ones. So yeah. Dark 
pencil pencils. I'll start uh, making this a little darker. Starting from here. Yeah, you can get it like this when you finish. Now, now darken those decorations. Starting right over here. Darken the no, star starting from here. Just like that. And you get it like this. Once you're done, we'll just starting from here in the middle, we'll draw the stem just like this. And then the shadow over here. Now we'll erase those unnecessary lines once again because now we have dark darkened our necessary lines. So 
the design you had to be more precise and perfect. Because if you don't erase the, it perfect now, then when we shade it, it would be more even harder because when we erased after when after we shaded it we will also erase those shade that parts it too so then to redraw it would be quite hard and don't work so to avoid that we could just be more perfect while we erase it right now so it doesn't really even matter if even if you just erase those necessary lines uh, accidentally but because we can redraw it right now and if it's like small lines or these types of circles so I'm now doing that these parts just got erased when I erased those parts and now I erase it ready to start shading this so let's go so starting right over here we will just start with this a bit first and yeah now let's start by giving it a slight shade right over here in this part by just sitting there just add those shadows right there once you're done add the same shadows right on the stop. Right, so, like so. Now it's done. We'll shade this bar right, right over here. So we have to use a darker shade for this part. Once it's done, now we will create it right over here. You see a very lighter shade. right over here and a little darker shade compared to this we will give it right over here starting from here leaving this big bar Thank you. 
now using the new and darker shade, we'll shade right over this part of the tree. Is as the tree goes to the bottom, the darkness increases to the shadow. Light reaches at the top. So, like for today's time, we are going to make the sun coming out from here. So that means the darkness will increase as it goes down, and the shadows won't be going to the side. It would be straight across. So I'll erase that. Because if the sun is over here, the shadow will go to here, and if the sun is right over here, then the shadows will go to the left. Then we'll just continue shading it. You will make it like darker like this and so I hope uh, this making the info sheet a little to the left doesn't make you more distracted because when the light hits here it just gets the glare and it's a piece of white so when I move it to here it's, more, it's clear and perfect so now I'll just raise some parts to create a highlight like effect so for that I'll just use these postcard pens so it won't create a much effect in the in this shapes it's a small as it's more black white color but still, I think it will be useful. And once you're done, you'll get it like this. So now I'll just add those background. Right over here, then making it all the way throughout here. Creates uh, just a magical effect behind the tree. So it could be effective when you show to your friends or relatives. 
or to anyone in this world, even if you're posting it on social media or anywhere. So if you're posting it on social media, just don't forget to tag Hydro Cardinals and you might have a stand to, to feature in our YouTube channel. I'll just show you pictures and give a shout out to you. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's how we get a Christmas tree. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure to check out this Christmas tutorial right over here and the playlist over here. And that's it for this video. And see you right there.